Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a male skin retouching tutorial. I want to show you guys how to get a better consistency in skin tone and texture and then also just a better overview in your uh, Photoshop workflow as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's hop right into it. So the first step I use when going into a retouching tutorial especially when it comes into male skin or any skin, is just zooming into the image and analyzing what needs to be done, what things that I would like to correct. My friend Michael here has absolutely amazing skin, so it's not much that we need to do, but it's things that I would like to do in this image to be able to polish it a little bit more. We'll like to tackle the stray hairs that are around the image, also just cleaning up the hairline and any stray hairs that are outside of that. We're going to be evening the skin texture right here and then just removing any spots or blemishes we see that are kind of, you know, distracting to the actual final outlook. So my first thing I would like to do is when I go into the process of retouching is going to spot heal. I go into spot heal and I start to remove anything that I uh, see that is kind of a distraction, whether it's just a piece of stray hair or whether it's just, you know, uh, a blemish on the skin, a smile line. I just always want to make sure that I'm diminishing the results, never fully removing, but just diminishing and fine tuning. A lot of this, you'll start seeing me uh, kind of like uh, going over spaces and, you know, just making sure it's more even than what it was. But one thing I always recommend is making sure you get a clean base to the image when you start retouching. So when you go into other methods like dodge and burn or clone stamp, it's easier to navigate. And also when you go into frequency separation, you can get a better uh, consistency in the final result. When I'm working with male skin, I always want to make sure that I'm paying attention to not overdoing the retouch. I always want to make sure that it's natural and at the same time it's you know still those skin textures and, and tonalities there but it's just diminished and more polished than what it was before uh, we started the image. So I'm going to just go and show you guys a quick before and after where we are so far just doing minor adjustments. We can fine tune pieces of the beard if we have any stray hairs, any hairs that are standing out, we can remove. I'm also going to remove any like frayed edges to any like shirts or collars, or anything like that as well. Just always making sure that I pay attention to the details because the things that you don't edit are the things that sometimes people notice, especially when on a bigger platform. So just being mindful of that. See how that side looks a lot more cleaner? And that's literally just using the clone stamp tool. Did a little more than wanted. I wanted to. Using the clone stamp tool to just go in and kind of uh, clean those edges up of what it was before. And we can just keep doing that. Look how nice, nice that looks. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to zoom back up to the top. And I like to work work my way from the top to the bottom in order to uh, keep cohesive with my workflow. And I'm going to just start diminishing the little, uh, you know, frayed air hairs that are on the head and just start working my way around. I got a question for you guys. What is your favorite process of retouching? Do you retouch your own images or do you send your images off? I know that I use mine as a way to kind of relax. It's very therapeutic. Just to kick back, listen to some music or talk to you guys and, you know, transform an image. It's so much that you can do to, you know, just change it and transform. So why not? Right, nice and what we're going to do is go up a little bit further and we're just going to start cleaning up this hairline 
making sure we just do a light brush in front of it. And here we go. So the next thing I want to do is zoom in to the eyebrows and clean those up a little bit more as well. And just remove those stray hairs that are around. Let's see, let's cancel that and go into the clone stamp. And I want to make sure I'm kind of decreasing the size of my brush as well so that I can get closer to some edges and kind of remove and diminish things that are sticking out that I don't want to see. Look how we're already getting a very clean and you know even result just based off that. And the thing about it is I want to be able to keep it looking natural, but at the same time, just, you know, polishing them a little more. I kind of like the here in the middle. I'll tackle that with another feed as well. But I just always want to make sure that I'm kind of keeping track of just cleaning, making it look very natural and normal, but not too kind of, you know, precise and, you know, too sharp. So we're going to zoom out and see what we got. If I like it, it looks good. It looks clean here. I'll show you guys a quick before and a quick after of the eyebrows. So let's see, do I want to kind of go in another direction? I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Uh, we'll clean up a little bit of the skin at a close view. little strays there we go perfect all right so i'm going to zoom out and my next process i want to go into is a little bit of dodge and burning so i'm going to turn my image black and white in the adjustments layer and i'm going to pull my blacks all the way down so that it personifies everything that i want to correct like the under eyes uh, not too much, but still leave them natural. And then also just the uh, the forehead. So I'm going to click back on my background layer. I'm going to go in with my, uh, my dodge tool. And I'm just going to lightly brush over these areas to start blending that in. Not doing too much. I want it to still have, you know, a little bit of contrast uh, in it and then also like contour in it, but at the same time, it just looks a little bit more, you know, cohesive. And I'm going to drop down and just do the same thing with the under eyes, not doing too much, but just kind of diminishing. Even if I want to bring detail back into certain areas, the cheeks, even the bottom of the neck, kind of carving that out a little more. Look at that, bringing detail back into the hair, different textures. Even if I wanted to kind of like dodge certain areas while I'm going, I could do that as well. Brighten up the lips a little bit. All right, so I like this result that I have so far. I'm going to turn it back into color. And you can see where we first was to where we are now. Much more cleaner. And now I like the results we have. So my next thing I'll do is I'll go into uh, clone stamping the wall right here. I just want to clean this up a little bit more before we go into the uh, frequency separation task. So we're just going to go. We're going to uh, select around this surface area. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. And we're just going to keep going down keep going down until we like where we are there we go perfect and fade that off and then we're going to come right over in this side and we're going to do the same exact thing alrighty so what I am going to do next is go into this retouching Academy pack I'm going to click it it's by a wonderful photographer uh, from Nigeria his name is Prince Mason check out his retouching essentials pack um black you know photographer definitely support black businesses black creators i'm going to go in hit gaussian blur at a 4.5 pixel it's going to render and then i'm then going to come over into my adjustments layer to uh deselect the high frequency task go into the low frequency 
and I'm going to start just lightly brushing around certain areas of the face to start using frequency separation. And as I'm doing this process, you'll see me start, well, you'll start to see the image kind of transform in a certain aspect. And if you guys have any questions along my process, feel free to uh, head over to my Instagram. You can contact me on there or you can head in the comment section here and check it out. Also, while we're at it, I have a Patreon page that has exclusive access to all things Chris Photo Studios. I give free Photoshop actions and LUTs. I give behind the scenes access. So it's kind of like you're on set with me and then you get exclusive uh, access to, you know, videos and you know, a little bit of my business. I give kind of, you know, business knowledge. So if you want to check it out, hit to the link in the bio, patreon.com slash Chris Photo Studios. And yeah, we can go from there. I'm getting a beautiful job right here. I love what I'm seeing. I'm going to deselect and look where we are so far. That's clean, that's polished, it looks natural. Here's a quick before, here's a quick after. I'm going to then go into giving it a little bit of contrast, just a little bit. I'm also going to go into giving it a little bit of a dodge. I want some depth within areas that I kind of lost it at. So we're just going to go in and just do a little bit of dodge and burning to the face. Darkening the beard a little bit more. There we go. Look how nice that looks. Make sure you check out my boy Michael Abatonio as well. He is an absolutely amazing creator on TikTok. Also follow him on Instagram. And yeah, this is where we are so far. I'm going to crop this image because it's a lot of surface area right here. Make sure we're equally balanced. Yep, let's step back a little bit. And let me zoom back a little bit. But before we do that, here's a quick before. And here's a quick after. And I'm just going to crop this, get an even crop on it. There we go, line it up. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are back for another male skin retouching tutorial showing you how to transform an image. I want you guys to move through your male retouching and be more confident in your approach to it. Learning how to, you know, keep things natural, still keep characteristics of the face, still keep detail. Also, you know, just using it in a way that it allows the image to, you know, has its have its flaws. It has you know, it's certain uh, kind of like features that are true to form of male skin. And I hope this video helped you and we will be right back for the next one. I'll talk to you guys later. We're out.